Hi everybody, my name is Zani and I am very excited to spend time with you today. How are you doing? Awesome! I am glad to hear that you are doing well. I am also doing well. Have you washed your hands today? If not, just pause and go and wash your hands. Oh, don't forget to come back! Yay! I'm so glad that you are back. I have a verse that we can do together. It's in the Bible, so do this with me. It's in the Bible, the book Isaiah 43 verse 1. Don't be afraid for you are mine. So let's do it again. It's in the Bible, the book Isaiah 43 verse 1. Don't be afraid, for you are mine. So let's go and see what's on my desk today. Look everybody, it's Sally. Let's see if we can wake her up. Hello? Hello, Sally, are you there? Oh, hello everyone. Hello, Sonny. What's going on, Sally? Uh... Well, everybody was running around and I was scared that they might trample on me. Oh, Sally, that's not nice. But I think everyone is scared and afraid. But do you know what? What? We don't have to be afraid because we have an awesome God. Oh, that is so true. And he has a big plan for all of our lives. Oh, that's wonderful. You see, Sally, we don't have to be afraid. So why are you still hiding? Oh, Thorny, um, I think my shell gives me a bit of safety. I think all of our friends are feeling safe at home right now. And you know what? What? This reminds me of a story in the Bible about a little baby boy. Oh, I love stories. Tell me more. So, long ago, there was a king. <gasps> yes. And he was afraid of all the Israelites. Oh, nearly like we are afraid today. Yes, he was, Sally. And do you want to know what he did next? What? He sent out all his soldiers to kill all the baby boys. <gasps> no. No, he couldn't have done that. Really? Yes. But. Yes, but what? There was a mother of a little baby boy and she loved God and she knew that God had a plan for a little baby boy. <gasps> really? God had a plan with him? Yes, he did. What was the plan? We'll have to look at the story to see. Oh, yay, a story. I love stories. Do you love stories, guys? Many times things happen in our lives that we do not understand, but we need to know that God loves us and has a plan for our lives. One day there was an Israelite man and woman who had a baby boy. In this time, King Pharaoh ordered his soldiers to kill all the Hebrew boys under two years old. When the mother could not hide the baby anymore, she made a basket and covered it with tar. She put it in between the reeds on the river Nile and asked his sister Miriam to keep an eye on him. Pharaoh's daughter went down to the river to bath. She heard a baby crying and sent her servants to get the basket. When she opened it, she saw it was a baby boy. She realized that this was one of the Hebrews' children, and she took the baby for herself. Just then, Miriam ran up to her to ask her if she could get a woman to take care of the baby and give him milk until he's old enough. Pharaoh's daughter said yes. So this baby grew up with his mother, learning all about God. When he was old enough, his mother took him back to Pharaoh's daughter and she named him Moses because she said 
she pulled him out of the water. Everything worked out so well for Moses because God had a plan for his life. Wow, Sony, it's so great to know that God has a plan for our lives. Yes, Sally, God has a big plan for each of our lives. And when we have God in our life, we are fearless because God has a plan for our lives. Oh, 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 can we say that together? Yes. I am fearless because God has a plan for my life. Are we going to do that again, Sally? Yes, please, yes, please. Okay. I, I am fearless, fearless because, because God has a plan for my life. life. So who of you have invited Jesus into your life already? Wow, look at all those hands, Zorni. That's awesome, Sally. Who of you would like to invite Jesus into your life today? If you have raised your hand, please pray this prayer after me. Can I pray with as well? Yes, Sally, you may. Dear Jesus. Dear Jesus. Thank you that I know. Thank you that I know that you love me very much. That you love me very much. Please forgive all my sins. Please forgive all my sins. And thank you that I know. And thank you that I know that I am a new creation. That I am a new creation. And from this day, and from this day, I will always believe. I will always believe. Amen. Amen. I feel so much better and lighter now that I know God has a plan for my life. Yes, Sally. So when we know that God has a plan for our lives, we don't have to fear the unknown. So maybe we can say um, that thing again that Auntie Kay said. I am fearless because God has a plan for my life. Yes, Sally, well done. Let's do it again together. I, I am fearless because God has a plan for my life. Yay! So, Sally, we have come to the end of our service today. Oh, really? But is this the time that we say goodbye? Yes, Sally, we have to say goodbye. Oh, bye-bye, friends.